Manchester United would not be in the top four without Case Miro, who has fixed the team. How ironic that he might wind up being the one to cost them in their quest to qualify for the Champions League. Case Miro will have missed half as many Premier League games by the time he completes his four-game suspension as he did in his first season with Manchester United. Contrary to what his aura and mannerism would have you believe, that is incredibly bad and out of the norm. Until he signed with Manchester United, Case Miro had never received a straight red card. In his last three Premier League matches, he has now scored twice. Only twice before coming to England had he ever been sent off. Despite receiving more than 10 cautions on average per season, he expertly followed the rules. On Sunday, it was regrettable that he received a red card since he made contact with the ball before his stids landed on Carlos Alcaraz's ankle, but such challenges always carry a danger, and a player with his level of expertise should be aware of it. He has excelled for Manchester United. He is the central midfielder that the team has been in dire need of. It's safe to say that without him, United wouldn't be eligible for the Champions League. He has fixed them, as Case Miro prophesied. The irony of him being the one who ultimately cost them that bid and a second piece of silverware cannot be overstated. Next weekend, United will play Fulham in the FA Cup quarterfinals before traveling to St. James Park to play Premier League rivals Newcastle, European contenders Brentford, and a revitalized Everton all without Case Miro. Given that they faced Leicester and Leeds twice, and that the game Case Miro missed owing to his accumulation of yellow cards resulted in a 32 loss to Arsenal, seven points from their three games during his first red card absence won't provide much in the way of assurance. Liverpool is fifth now, so the distance is a good one. Eight points is a significant deficit to make up, especially in light of Jurgen Klopp's team's erratic play. But if they win over Wolves and Nottingham Forest before their matchup with Manchester United at the beginning of April, they will be three points behind United. The same is true for Newcastle. Here, we make a lot of assumptions. Secondly, without him, United will resume its pre-case Miro form, which is a little unfair to his potential replacements. After his performance against Southampton in the second half, Scott McTominay did not harm Fred's chances of replacing the Brazilian for the foreseeable future. This season, Fred has excelled. Also, it would take the consistency of two of the teams below United to knock them out of the top four, which doesn't seem very likely. However, Case Miro's carelessness has pushed United closer to the chasing pack, and for a team whose confidence must be already shaken after that crushing loss to Liverpool and now a draw at home against Southampton who created a good number of chances even before Case Miro went off, such a significant absence could further hurt them before this crucial stretch of the season.